Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, Tolson racket. Lighter though, maybe more midweight. Stay tuned. All right, coffee sponsor of today is Joe Dash and Joe Dash and writes, Oh, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you and the channel for all the great information you provide to us. You are truly a treasure to the tennis community. Oh man, Joe Dash Ann, thank you so, so much for appreciating us. And, you know, it's not easy to do this daily, but, um, you know, we, we want to be, you know, spending a little time with you every day. And, you know, we hope, we, we all hope that you appreciate it and, you know, think that it's a little worthwhile. So um, we appreciate you. Thank you so, so much. If you want to be our coffee sponsor of the day, well, sp specifically mine, uh, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. If you want to support the channel, super thanks is the way, link is below. So don't get this wrong. I'm not the only one that gets coffee here. So um, I do share the coffee wealth and um, it's like a daily coffee wealth. I'm, I'm not the only one, you know, sucking up the dark roast. Um, you know, I do uh, get coffee for everyone. Okay. That's, that helps us out. So cheers to everybody out there. Oh, my coffee order's ready on the next one. <gasps> I got to go get a refill. Just kidding. I talked to Lena today and she's like, I know house plan, house plan. I was like, Hey, you know, I hate house plan. And she's like, what would you like from uh, now on? I was like, that supernatural is great that you never brew. And she's like, yeah, that's long gone. I was like, you're never going to have any. She's like, how about Gaia or Yosemite? I was like, yeah, I'll take that. Just no major dicks and whatever. Yeah. And don't, don't do that, please. So she's agreed. Hopefully I won't complain on the channel anymore. But if they keep brewing that stuff, I'll probably keep complaining. <laughs> Any Pete's people out there that work there? No house blend, no Major Dixon. Thank you. All right, so let's get down to tennis business here. My buddy Hade San sent me this Tolson 40 Love XX. There is a bigger brother to this that is 10.8 ounces, which is 305 grams. This is the littler brother. It's 10.2 ounces and 290 grams. Same kind of spec, 22 on the beam, but lighter. I, I, I didn't really understand why he wanted me to try this, but... Um, it's a cool looking racket. It's, it's black with silver on a 98. Okay. So it is a kind of a mid weighted player stick is kind of the only way I can categorize it. Um, let's take some numbers from this. Let's go over to the Bayardo Tune Pro. All right. So Bayardo Tune Pro in the house. I'm going to miss you when you're gone. Yeah, so I have to go through the other stuff. So this is on loaner to us. It belongs to Wilson. Thanks to Jason Cash. Total weight, 307.4. Balance, 333. Interesting. All right, let's check swing weight.
313. We quickly jot these down. Thirty-one, three. All right. You guys want to check stiffness? The other one came out pretty stiff, so I'm not quite sure how this will be, but hopefully. Let's go into mode. Okay. Okay. Let's see if it's 70 like Big Brother. It is 70 like Big Brother. Okay, this is what I'm seeing. We've got a medium weighted racket that's already strung. We strung it. Um, I like this weight because there's more towards the head. I like this swing weight. It's telling me that it's gonna plow through a little bit. This stiffness, I mean, I like stiff rackets for a 22 beam on a light racket. That 70 is probably going to work for me. Um, 16 by 20, we got that extra cross on a 98 head. In my mind, this is going to be a serious woman's playing racket, like a high level woman's racket because of the total weight. But let's see. Let's go out and try it. Okay. We'll see you on the court. All right, guys, so we just got off the court. Tolson 40 Love in the 10.2 ounce version. I am surprisingly shocked by how this light racket plays so well. Um, Coach Chris, your stand backhand was like plowing through with this light racket. What's going on? So actually with this uh, Tolson 40 Love 10.2 uh, version of its cousin, uh, the 10.8, this one basically has a little bit more weight in the head and finishes your stroke for you a lot easier, um, still maintaining its flexion as it you know contacts with the ball, but it still finishes all the way through the ball instead of uh, maybe feeling like it was stopping as you're hitting. Um, so definitely recommend this one. It's a nice balance of control and power. Um, yeah, and also for your Dunlop lovers, it's still reminiscent of those frames. So, you know, if you really love the Dunlop, you probably really love this as well. Coach Jared, you seem to have a smile on your face when swinging with that too. Talk to me. Yeah, so I think with this one, uh, I have to echo a lot of what, you know, Chris is saying as well. Um 
Traditionally, I think with lighter rackets, I'm actually liking them for some reason. So I think a lot of these companies have been adding a lot of the weight towards the 12 o'clock position. So even though the racket's lighter, you have more assistance with, again, like Chris said, swinging the ball or swinging the racket through the ball. Um, and again, the flex did work very well for this frame. Um, the 16 by 20 string pattern also added a little bit more control. So if you were to overswing potentially, um, that tighter string pattern would keep the ball on the court. Um, for me, I think I'd also add a little bit more weight as usual, um, since 10.2 is a little bit too light for my liking. Um, and then adding that weight towards the three and nine positions would also add probably more stability. Uh, but overall, yeah, again, if you don't love people like the, um, lighter frames out there, I think this would be a really good choice to, to go for. All right. So I could honestly say that this is my favorite 10.2 ounce racket on the market. It is that um, easy to play with, surprisingly easy to play with. It actually has more power than I thought it would for a medium weight 16 by 20, uh, 98 square inch racket. Usually you put all of those together and you get like a low powered um not so easy to plow through type of a racket but this is the total opposite of that we all were shocked at how well this played how well it finished for us um i mean i would bet you guys will agree with me this is probably the best playing 10.2 racket you guys ever played i liked it i liked <laughs> it yeah so um if you're in if you're a great player that just wants a lighter racket um, woman or not, I usually pigeonhole these rackets for a woman. Uh, I would say a guy, if your weekend warrior still has strokes, I would say possibly up to a 5-0. You could probably get away with this racket and do very well with this racket. So that's who I would recommend this to. Like a high 3-5 to a 5-0, men or women should, and should try this actually and could play with it. Okay. So that's the Tolson 40 Love in the 10.2 ounce version. All right, guys, thank you for uh, testing out this great racket with me. Coach Jared, you got the mic. Where are you at? You guys can find me on Instagram at Ma Tennis. All right, Coach Chris, where can they find you at MTC? You can always find me at Marin Tennis Club at YouTube and Instagram. All right, we'll link those below, guys. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. What are you doing? Hey coach, I'm ricing. I hurt my ankle, so rice? Ricing. Ricing? Ricing. You mean rest, icing, Compression and elevation. Rice?